What's going on, guys? How you doing? What up, boy? <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Say. Thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, he balled out, but he's still a rookie. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know. Hey, not anymore. Not anymore. I mean, that's true. Right now, you know, we're, hey, we got to ask you, man. How cold was it out here, real talk? It, it wasn't bad. You know me. I'm from Michigan. I, I, I live this stuff. I love it. Well, I wasn't too bad. wasn't too bad. We got lucky in Lambeau, but um, with the weather, but it wasn't too bad. Hey, what does this mean to you right here? To have these fans tend your name, bro. I mean, Detroit's got some of the best fans, man. And looking at all of them, the support. I mean, the game's been over for about 15, 30 minutes now, and they're still packing the stands. And that just goes to show the, the Detroit pride and, and, and how we roll even to away games. Hey, Hutch, what, what was this week like for you guys? What was the greatest motivation you carried coming in here tonight, knowing that you had this interesting day and all those things unfolding before you were going to play in the game? No doubt. No doubt. It was weird, you know, because we – didn't technically control our own destiny. We had the Seahawks to, to lose, and they won, and we're all sitting in the locker room. We're all like, hey, <laughs> hey, boys, we got one last run now. And uh, I think we came together, man. We were just having fun out there, and it showed. So, and, and this fan base is going crazy right now. What is it about Dan Campbell that makes you guys believe in him? Because you guys fight and claw for that man. Yeah, I mean, it's it's his culture. It's the culture of grit. It's, it's uh, you know, he's been here for – two years now and it's it's starting to be ingrained in, in every one of these classes and in all the guys that are here so um, I mean it's a we show it every time we come out here you know and we, we showed it today too you know I mean you're a Michigan man play <laughs> college football at Michigan how does all of that background make this sound even better it's crazy <laughs> it's wild it's wild to, 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 to hear all this and to see it it's a damn shame we didn't get in the playoffs now, but. Okay, with that question, what will it take for you guys to take that next step to get to the playoffs? I mean, if we, if we didn't start off so bad early in the season, we just got to be, be more consistent. You know, we showed that we can do it, and we have all the talent. We just got to be more consistent and do it, uh, you know, all season long. Can't just be in the second half of the season. How about your quarterback in Jared Goff? He's sent packing, man, shows up in Detroit, becomes the franchise quarterback. All of a sudden, you start building this team around him. How has pairing with Goff impacted your career? He's one of the smartest guys I've been around. Um, I mean, the way he talks football and the confidence, uh, how he talks about it, it's it's really it's really fun to watch. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad he's on my team. You know, he's he balled out this year. And I, I know next year we're, we're all just going to be building off of that. Now, talk about this offensive line. They don't get enough credit for how good they are. And you go against them every day in practice. And they're big and physical. Talk no about them a little bit. No bro. doubt. I mean, my first camp in the NFL was against one of the best old lines. So I think it prepared me for this season coming in and going against one of the best old lines. And then um, it, it prepared me. And to have an offensive line, I mean, it's the it's the core of your team. It's the foundation. I think um, that's that's how that's how the owners and the GMs built this team. It's around the defensive lineman and the offensive lineman. You. Who's, who's been your mentor on this team? Who's been that guy that kind of took you under his wing and said, hey, this is the way you should do things? Um, has it been one guy or has it been a, a bunch of guys? Yeah. I mean, they are going crazy oh, yeah. right now. I mean, I, <laughs> I think it's almost like we, we can't ignore all this. You know? We cannot. How can we ignore all this? <laughs> Hey, you set this up. This was a massive night for you. You're moving all over the place. You're lined up on the right side, left side. Yeah. Walk us through your night, some of the matchups you're getting. Here's the highlights. Yeah, man, you know, I, I mean, I, I was I was very happy and confident in my matchups, you know. Um, we, we've already played these guys, so you already got a feeling of, of what they're doing. And, um, you know, I, I'm just playing my game. I'm I'm improving so much every week. And, you know, my, my whole rookie year, I took so many strides, and this was kind of the culmination of it, you know, and and uh, having, having a pretty good day. Well, they put you on David Bakhtiari's side, and we know he's an all-pro, $100 million guy. Then they switch you and put you on the other guy's side. You seem to dominate him, yeah. two sacks. Yeah. Two quarterback hits, four tackles. You was all over the place, big dog. You ain't no rook no more. I got to ask you this, though. Yeah. What is the major difference between the pro game and the college game? I mean, in college, it's like that there are some weeks that, you know, you, you might be playing a lesser team, and obviously your body doesn't go through as much. Um, the preparation isn't as much, you know, when you feel you can dominate. But every week in the NFL, you got to be on your – stuff yep. and um, you know you got to be coming and and bring it at all so it's it's uh, I think that's the biggest difference is you got to prepare and get ready to play some of the best talent in the world every single week. Uh, 
That's you. What do we got to do to get one of those hutch hats, man? <laughs> <laughs> Send a couple of them hutch Co hats out here. Coming us, huh? soon. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. Hey, they're um, calling for a Lambo leap right here. <laughs> they're calling for a Lambo <laughs> leap. No, I can't. I, I mean, Lambo leap. All right. Where am I going? Over there. Go there. Right. You don't want to go in the yellow. It's too hard. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.